Well, Mark, it's, it's clearly been a tough couple of weeks, but I, I hesitate to put too much pressure on one player in the transfer market because we saw what happened with, with poor old Steve. But to get Conor McGrandles in seems to be quite a significant one. You were talking about that balance between waiting and getting the quality you want and having to work with that housing chain and all the rest of it. But he looks like a really good one. Yeah, he is a really good one. Um, yeah, I think he's got lots of qualities we've always quite admired. Um, previous teams, Lincoln, MK Dons, we, he's always been a player that we really liked. And it's funny, when you watch games and you, you take teams, you, you're always looking in the opposition thinking, is there anyone in there that would fit in our team that there's a genuine chance of getting? And quite often in January, you can get players that we can't get in the summer um, just for their availability and clubs wanting to free some space in their own budgets and their own squads to, to do their own business. So. Connor joins us at a time where he needs games um, and he's, he's not had lots, but that is usually the January window. It's, it's unusual that you'd sign players that have played a lot of football, so we certainly need to get him up to speed quickly, but he's ready to go. Um, <clears throat> he's ready to go. And the one thing I'm, I really like about him is he's, he's hungry and really willing to, to join us and, and join the fight. So... Um, yeah, we like his qualities. We've seen that already in training this week, and look forward to seeing him um, bring some bring some of those qualities to the team at the weekend. Yeah, really key player for Lincoln, funnily enough, over the past couple of seasons. Has the story for this season basically been a combination of injury and change of manager, and that's how he lost his momentum? Yeah, probably. I think a number of those things. Bit of a bit of a change of shape. Obviously, management changes in the team, um, and when you join the bigger clubs, they've got stacks of good level players so the competition is obviously a lot higher as well so um, it's certainly I'm sure he'll say himself that it hasn't been exactly how he'd hoped the season would have gone but this gives him an opportunity to go and get a run of games and, and finish the season really strongly so in the end it can benefit everybody which is is why we've brought him here and looking forward to, to seeing what he brings to us and looking forward to adding to the squad again over the, the closing days of the window um, so that we're as strong as we can be as we go into a 20-game season now. Yeah, I was going to ask that in that we all get greedy with transfers, but looking at this situation, it is necessary, isn't it? You still need to get further business done. Yeah, we expect another one before the weekend, so um, we hope to get that done and finish today if we can. And then um, next week, we'd expect certainly certainly one more after the weekend. Um, and we'll see whether anything else is is sort of pops up towards the end. But we certainly expect... In addition to Connor, uh, two more throughout the squad between now and uh, the close of the window. So uh, hopefully one of them can impact the team this weekend and hopefully the other one won't be too far behind. Is it giving too much away to talk about Michael Morrison? Are we dotting I's, crossing T's? Is that one close? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting closer. Um, so hopefully we're, uh, we'll be there quite soon. All being well with that one, once it is all sorted out, presumably the big bonus is that he should have a, a bit of a shortcut with, he knows the club inside out, he knows you guys, that should be a big help? Yeah, it will be, but until that's done, we can't really talk about that. Obviously, he's not our player at the moment, and um, he's certainly one that we're interested in, but until it's, until it's done, we can't, we can't add to the speculation or the exact news on that. So hopefully, hopefully very, very soon we'll have some news on that, but um, we haven't got that definitive news right now. Let's talk about going the other way, Seiku Jana, who arrived over the summer, of course, and has struggled for, for game minutes. And is that sometimes just the path of development with a player? I'm sure everyone would, have, everyone would have hoped that he could have played more and progressed more quickly, but just sometimes the way it goes. Yeah, and I think <clears throat> look, other boys in the attacking lines have done well. He's obviously struggled for starting appearances, and he's not going to get many of those between now and the end of the season. Um, he's behind some of the others, to be fair. So... You know, you can have a bit part between now and the end of the season, 10 minutes here, 5 minutes there, 20 minutes here potentially, sometimes in a squad, sometimes not. But you measure, you, you measure it up and if there's an option that he could get 20 games somewhere, he'll be a better player come the end of the season than if he's a bit part here. So for his development, he needs a run of games that's, that's been starved of. And the difficulty for any player, if you're out of the team for a long time, when you then come in the team, you're in a worse position to then be at your best and, and really impact things. So... Um, the, way we're, with the way we're looking with the team, if we can add what we want to add, we, we've got probably going to develop a number of different ways of playing, a number of different shapes to play, um, and it might be less less likely that his uh, his game minutes are fulfilled here that he'd like. So um, certainly in making sure we've got the right number of players to work with, um, and we're not over 
overcooked with bodies. We, we're certainly getting a lot closer with adding to the squad and with um, some injured players coming back. So we know that we'll have good numbers and good quality and it, it, it creates an opportunity where Wimbledon were desperate to sign them really from the beginning of the window. Um, and over the last few weeks, I think it's become more and more likely that he's less likely to play. So therefore, those, uh, that development time is best served elsewhere. He's got a lot of promise and a lot of potential. We knew in the summer with the window that we had in, in uh, the summer window, we were adding potential to the squad rather than starters in a lot of cases. And obviously, we've got to try and strengthen the team now. Um, and therefore, it makes it a little bit harder. But that potential is still there. It just needs to be needs to be playing games in order to, to get to the level that we need him at. With all of your key players, is there any danger at the moment? They'll be trying to nab anyone on the cheap. I know you said before that psychologically, as it were, everyone's set for the remainder of the season, but is it all quiet on that front? Yeah, really quiet. And um, you know, the, the, the cheap thing is that that sort of answers that itself. Like We're not in need of the resources and the money, so we don't need to be selling people to pay wage bills like we have in, in recent times. We're in a fantastic position with the owners and the stability that they've given us. So there isn't any need to do that. Obviously, if we see that it's the right thing for one or two others to go out on loan to get more games, then we may do that. But that probably won't be till really late in the window once we've we've completed all of our sort of ins and once we know we're through the weekend and, and a few boys are, are back in action. With adding the overall flexibility, different ways of playing, having greater variation, greater element of surprise, all that sort of thing, are you confident you've got enough time on the, the training ground? I guess the, the weather obviously hasn't helped of late, but as we move into February, that, that should become easier. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, this month's been a mess. I mean, we're frozen again this morning, so we've been training on the AstroTurfs, which isn't great for everybody a couple of times, but that, there's other times where that's been unplayable and, and bits and pieces. Just one of the challenges you have to overcome. We're not the only ones doing that. I speak to heck a lot of coaches at the moment that can't get on the grass or have been rained off or are on the Astro or at the stadium with the undersoil heating, the ones that have got that. So um, there's certainly different scenarios everywhere. It's a, it's a period of... Uh, conditions are testing us a little bit but we've just got to make the most of that and get on with it because that is the situation we find ourselves in the attitude of players this week has been good to go and attack the sessions and get as much out of it as we can we need the, ne the same in the next few days um, what we certainly need is an ability to be different and, and do things differently and create an almost fresh team over the next uh, 20 games and a fresh energy about how we go about things because we know the task ahead of us and um, yeah, we've got to step up to it Someone like Orion Bennett, really useful in that respect in that clearly he's got loads of experience but also has spent large swathes of his career in a back four, for instance, large swathes in a, a back three. So you've got a player there who's used to doing things in different ways. Yeah, I think anyone with experience has probably been through lots of different cycles of playing style or just good seasons, bad seasons, good environments, bad environments, good form, bad form, whatever those things are. They're the challenges of a football season that they can bring up. And if you're in it for a few years, you probably experience a little bit of everything. Um, so for lots of us, it's the first time of experience in this period. But it will come around again, as will the good bits. So that's just, I think, the cycle of football, the way that those things work. And any players that we can bring, you know, we set out this window to try and bring in players of experience, personality, leadership, and that have played this level or higher. Because I think that's really important. that We haven't got a squad flooded with experience at this level. Um, and the more we can add, the better. Probably feels like we've done a little bit less than we have because of Steve's situation. But so far, to have Steve Seddon, uh, Ryan Bennett, Conor McGrandles, that's three really good additions, and we'll make two more for sure before next week. So we, we know almost half a team there that that will be strong. Uh, Mitoff's back training with the team, so he's um, very close to being available. Lloyd Jones is back training with the team. Um, so, you know, Liam Bennett's obviously come back off of a loan and is contributing to the team. Fajiri's back fit and uh, ready to contribute to the team. Brandon's training for the first time today with the team. Um, Harrison, Liam, they're a few weeks away still from training. But in the main, we're, we're significantly um, stronger for those changes and those players returning. So we're, we're not a million miles away from the squad that we want to be working with and hopefully we'll see the benefit of that. Yeah, and of course the crucial thing then is you need everyone to, to stay fit, so we'll have our fingers crossed for that. Looking at Lincoln then, from the outside looking in, and if you just take a look at the table, they've, they've drawn so many games, that's been their, their problem this season. 
Yeah, a funny one really. I mean, they're a very, very hard team to beat by the statistics that they've shown there. They've had some brilliant results. Their home form, I think they're unbeaten at home, but they've drawn the majority of those games. So, we know that that's a tough place. We know that defensively they've made themselves very hard to beat, and we know that they've got a couple of really lively and bright attackers in their team that can cause anybody a problem. So, <clears throat> I think it'd be a good game. It'd be a challenging game, as they all are at the moment. Um, but we'll go there and give it a great shot and see what we can come up with. We know we've got to respond and we expect one from last weekend. So let's, um, let's see what we can do. It's the first game now that we look at and say, right, 20 games. Um, let, let's see what we can come up with in that period of time with a, with a little fresh impetus around the team. We know we've got some tough ones in there. Um, but it's a game this weekend that we want to go and have a right go at and make sure we take something from. And just to finish, quick word on the FA Youth Cup. Really interesting game for the youngsters this evening coming up against Chelsea. Yeah, it'll be a brilliant game, hopefully. It's, uh, hopefully the conditions are OK. I mean, the, the standard of the opposition will be top. They're regular winners and finalists of this competition. They've got an outstanding record. You can see they've got scholars playing in the Premier League at the moment, so that they are at an exceptional level. Um, and it'll be a great test and experience for our players. So look forward to watching it and obviously wish the boys and all the staff well because it's a great competition to play in. Cool, that's great for me. <clears throat> You've obviously talked about making more signings. You're confident of doing at least two more. Do you think the second signing that you mentioned could be in time for this weekend or, or would it be a bit later, do you think? No, that'll be next week before the deadline. Yeah. And if you can get those two done that you think you are going to get done, do you think that'll be it for the, the window or would, is there potential to do more? Well, we expect that to be it. The only thing is, you know, the last week, of, the last couple of days of the window, mad, madness happens. You'll see more signings Monday, Tuesday than any other day for sure um, because there is some random things that come up. So we never say never. If something comes up that really gives us a chance of strengthening, then we'll do it. <clears throat> but we're not sort of planning on that outright. It's just a, it will be a surprise one now because the majority of the others that we've looked at or um, we know are available, we don't feel would necessarily make us stronger where the next two we know will. Um, and so anything that we add outside of that, we'll, uh, we'll just uh, have to see if anything pops up Monday or Tuesday night. With Seiko, he obviously made only one league start having joined in the summer. Why wasn't he given more of a chance? Loads of reasons, players playing well, um, opportunities that, that either I choose to play or not to play in the system that is there and um, players have to play and train at a top, top level in order to be reliable enough to, to deliver those performances. So my call all the time is, is a player ready to go and contribute to the team and um, you know, I know supporters will look at one moment or a flash in the pan or a nice exciting moment that gets you off your seat but um, we need to be... The, the, the recipe or the, the menu, if you like, for us right now as a team is absolute physical commitment, reliable to the game, following a game plan um, and showing a real consistent level. And I think that that is quite often, not only in Seku's page, but in a lot of younger players, the inconsistency from one day to the next can be too fluid and too up and down. Um, and we're not in a position where people can afford to make the mistakes in our team. So we're going to try and get stronger, more experienced, um, and, and get more leaders in the team to try and take away those issues that we've come across many, many times. Um, and his job now is to go and get a run of games and have a loan similar to maybe Liam Bennett's. If he can as, add an effective loan as that, then he'll come back to us in the summer in a really good place and better off and better equipped for next season.